Hi, welcome to Kitchen Garden Therapy. I'm Slava and today I would like to share with you my harvest that I just picked from the garden. I am so happy that it's summertime now and I can harvest a ton of food from my garden. Here are some mushrooms, beans, cauliflower, a ton of strawberries and herbs. Also, I would like to thank you so much for all of your support. I just recently hit 1000 subscribers on my channel and I'm so, so excited and happy. I really appreciate all of your support. And to celebrate this important milestone, I would like to do a giveaway. I will be giving some merchandise from my store. You will be able to choose if you want water bottle, pillow, tote, journal, t-shirt or a mug. There will be three winners and I will announce them on my first live stream that I will do on Sunday, June 19th at 5 o'clock central time. You don't have to be present on the live stream in order to win, but if you do come to the live stream, there will be additional prizes. In order to enter the giveaway, please comment below and name at least one thing that I will be planting today. So please watch this video till the end to find out what I am planting right now in the garden. I was thinking, what can I plant? underneath of these tomatoes in the containers and I figured Parisian carrots would work well because first of all they need constant moisture on the sprouting stage and over here they would get that because it's shady over here the tops of the tomatoes you can see are receiving light but in the bottom it's shade and shade equals moisture so I planted these miniature carrots underneath in here and hopefully they will like it in there remember my secret garden place by the side of the garage which is a really narrow spot but I decided this year I'm going to utilize it also to grow my food. So I planted some tomatoes and peppers and a row of potatoes. Now I came here to sow some seeds of spinach and lettuce underneath of the tomato plants. Since tomatoes are already up and growing, I trimmed them recently, tied them to their cages. So now there is a room in the bottom to grow some leafy greens. So I sprinkled some seeds of spinach. In this container I planted the Oceanside variety. And then over here I planted this one. And let me show you, there are already little tiny tomatoes forming so this variety is called tropical sunset and look how pretty it is I also have two bell peppers here in the front and some calendula these peppers are called toro and as you can see they are growing tall Now here I have black from Tula tomato in the back, no fruit yet, and I have banana peppers. And I planted minutina in between. Here I have some boko boko spinach growing, Hungarian pepper that's already starting to form. This is Lesa pepper that also has a little tiny pepper already. Now I also have some basil around and here this is black from Tula tomato and I planted 
long-standing Bloomsdale spinach in the bottom. Now let's move along. Planted two varieties of lettuce underneath of these tomatoes and these are both cream, Ukrainian cream tomatoes. In the next two containers I planted saltwort and shiso and I wanted to show you this beautiful fruit. Look at this tomato. That's also Crimean tomato. Alright, let's get the seed packages as I go. And look how tall these tomatoes are. They are as tall as I am. <laughs> and it's only June. I also planted some amaranth and cress in the next one and look at these potatoes they are so big and tall it's almost no room for me to walk over here and the last one i planted more spinach i am happy that i decided to utilize this empty spot that was kind of catch it all <laughs> junky spot but I cleaned it up organized it here all of the pots lined them up and now I have a beautiful growing space that actually was able to fit a lot of edibles you can see there's more than 10 tomatoes in here I didn't count them but there was definitely more than 10 tomatoes eight peppers, bunch of basil and spinach and a ton of potatoes. Trying new vegetable this year, salsify. I've never had it before, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. It grows kind of like a carrot, it's a root vegetable. And this is the white variety and that's black variety and you're supposed to sow it after the last frost i should have sowed it earlier but i didn't have any room now there is a little bit room over here between my beans okra that i had just planted this is a blackberry and i have beets over there together with um, cauliflower interplanted and a little bit of space here I decided to dedicate for this experiment and this is how seeds look of this plant they are long narrow so I just sprinkled here and there and I will cover them now it's funny white salsify has dark seeds dark brown but the black salsify has white seeds <laughs> and it says that germination is slow two three weeks and it it needs long growing period 120 days but my last frost is I mean my first frost is in the end of October and it actually says that you're supposed to harvest it after the frost before ground freezes. So I'll harvest it in November and there is definitely more than 120 days till November. It's the middle of June now. So this should be enough time for salsify to grow and once it grows I'll update you on the progress.